All right, everyone. So this is episode one of a new poker series that I'm starting on this channel. Uh, this episode isn't particularly long just because I didn't have too many uh, big hands. Uh, there was only really a couple that I feel made the difference. So that will be what I'm showcasing on this episode. Um, just to give some background, uh, I played at the Bellagio poker room and I bought in for the max at the 510 no limit game. The maximum buy-in was 1500, so that's what I bought in for. And uh, the first hand I got was actually a really nice uh, starting hand. So let's uh, jump right into it. So the absolute first hand of the vlog is ace king suited, which is of course an awesome hand to start with. Um, the uh, button position opened to $30. I re-raise to $100 and get one caller in the middle position. Uh, flop comes king queen 10 rainbow which is you know top top for me i'm in pretty good shape uh, i decide to see bet 200 dollars, and the middle position proceeds to fold it so i quickly win my first hand it's a nice little uh little win there so on this hand i wake up with uh, pocket queens which is a premium hand, the basically the third best hand that you could start with in your whole cards, the better hands being kings or aces. Uh, the cutoff opens to 30. Now, he's a pretty aggressive player. He's been opening to 30 repeatedly. So um, I raise here to 100. I'm expecting him to at least call. Uh, everybody folds around, and he actually re-raises me, four bets me to 260. Uh, that puts me to a bit of a decision there. I'm thinking about it. Uh, it represents aces or kings, of course, uh, but it could also represent tens, jacks, or ace, king suited. So I just call, uh, just because if, if I were to um, re-raise, he's either going to best-case scenario call, in which case I don't know where I'm at, uh, but if he does have a stronger hand than queens, he will go in over the top, and I'm put to a, a decision, which I'll probably fold. So I... Um, Call the 260, and let's see what happens on the flop. So the flop comes nine of diamonds, three of diamonds, three of clubs. Uh, a pretty good flop for me with, with a pair of queens. And I check to the four better, of course. I want to see what he does. He proceeds to bet 140. Now, 140 is an interesting bet. Um, he could be setting me up to go in over the top and then get his chips in. Uh, right away on the flop if he has something like a monster like a set of nines where he would have flopped a full house or um, uh, Pocket aces slash pocket kings but He could also be trying to see a card for relatively cheap That was my instinct. I put him on some kind of a draw with over cards like a big ace suited trying to hit that third diamond so I just call Hope a diamond doesn't come. The next card is a brick. It's a two of hearts, which is basically a brick in any situation, unless he has pocket deuces, which I doubt. Uh, so there's a two of hearts, and I decide that I don't want to let him see any more cards. Um, if I check, he probably would have either checked back to see a free card or, or decided to bluff me all in and put me to a big decision. So I bet 500 out there. Uh, if he's going to see a uh, river card, then he's going to have to pay for it. But he decides to fold. And I take down a pretty decent sized pot. All right, so here on this hand, I have pocket fives, a nice uh, low to medium sized pocket pair. And the cutoff, who is actually a new player now, but also playing almost as aggressively as the uh, original cutoff position, uh, the original person sitting in that seat, he uh, raises to 30. Uh, starting stack is about 1,200-ish. Uh, he just recently bought in for the table max, which is uh, 1,500. The button three bets to 100. I make the call of 100 with pocket five just because I anticipate uh, some better pot odds with uh, other players calling. 
It turns out that none of the other players called except for the cutoff position, so we're three-way uh, to the flop, which comes four of diamonds, queen of spades, and a nice five of hearts to make me a set. So I am in fantastic shape right now. I decide to check it, and it's actually checked around, and we see a turn card, which is the eight of diamonds. Now in this situation, um, there are some straights that get there, but it's very or basically one straight that gets there. It's very unlikely, though, that any of the players call to raise the 6-7. I mean, it's possible, but unlikely. So I'm still in great shape. I decide to check it again. I'm assuming that there will be a, some kind of bet made. Um, the cutoff then proceeds to bet 240. Um, button folds, the original three better folds. And... I'm just going to call to look like I'm drawing. Hopefully, there's no action killer card on the river. So let's see. Let's see a river here. Now, the river ends up being a seven of spades, which is basically the ultimate action killer, with the exception of maybe a seven of diamonds. So at this point, um, if I'm betting... I'm gonna get. I'm, I may get called on a decent sized value bet on maybe two pairs. But if the cutoff has a straight, um, he's going to re-raise me over the top, of course. And um, whether he has it or not, there's a good position to bluff um, if I do make a, a value bet of some kind. Of course, he could think that I have it, but uh, either way, I'm not really gonna make much money unless I induce a bluff. So I check again on the river and he actually ends up betting, he bets, he makes a big bet of $510. So what do I do here? So what can he possibly have here? Does he have pocket sixes? Does he have an ace six of diamonds? I guess it's possible that he could have those cards. If he does, then I'm pretty sour. Uh, he's definitely trying to represent a straight and push me off any, any uh, decent hands like uh, you know two pair, top pair, or, or a set, which is what I have. But it looks to me like a bluff. I call, and it turns out that I call this bluff. So, pretty decent sized pot. So this ended up being a nice cash out. Uh, $2,000 profit on the nose. Can't complain about a double up, or more than a double up actually. So hopefully we continue to have the same luck in future sessions. Gonna buy a little cash out here. Another dollar buying.